Good afternoon, class. Thank you, you can sit down. All right, then today's lesson, the first thing that we are going to look at is to look at the homework you were given on quadrilaterals. And the first two we did, that was question one and question five. And then you were asked to do the rest of the questions for homework. Okay, question one, our answers were x equals 40, y equals 100, and z was equal to 75 degrees. All right, number five, um, A was 35 degrees, and P was 65 degrees. Okay, we have to look at question two up to question 15 today. And if you have any questions, when we go through the answers, there are some questions that will need um, uh, proving, so we'll do that on the board. I'll ask you to do it on the board. So number two, letter X. Angle X, who wants to answer that question, please? Patrick. X equals? X equals 143 degrees. 143 degrees, correct? Yes, okay. Number three, anyone for number three? Daniel. <laughs> 93 degrees. 90? Did you say 93 degrees? Okay. Next one. Number four, Livingston. Yes. X is equal to 39 degrees, Y is equal to 105. All right, X is 39, Y is 105 degrees. All right, number five we did. Number six will be the last one we'll answer orally. The rest of the questions you will have to explain on the board. All right, the size of the missing angle, the size of the equal angles. Let's have one girl. Miriam. <coughs> the equal angles are 100 degrees. 100 degrees, good. All right, number seven. Any volunteers? If you answer yes or no, you will have to say why your answer is yes. And why is your answer is no for the first two questions. For the next one, it says, is the angle DAB bisected by the line AC? You also have to say why. OK, any volunteers for number seven? OK, then I use my discretion. Number seven, um, Geno. Number eight, Vui. Number nine, Peter. Number 10, Jake. Number 11, Rita. Number 12, Pondrele. Number 13, Velma. Number 14, is Boromio here? Oh, yes. Number 15, Megan. OK, start with number six. You have to move quickly. The person doing number six, come up to the front. I would like you to use the blackboard and to draw the figure if you are, the figure is not already there, and then explain using your diagram. OK, move it, please. We have to finish this before.
Sorry, not number six, number seven. Oh, if not, you use that diagram because yours is, you just have to give the reason and whether they are congruent or not. Come on, you know what congruent triangles are. That's a rhombus. You have to first of all say what you know about a rhombus and then tell us why you think triangles A, B, E, and D, E, C are congruent. Where's the mic? Let's go, say it, say if you, if you don't answer the question fully, I'll help. Triangles A, B, E, and D, E, C are congruent because in a rhombus, the opposite, opposite angles are equal. Opposite triangles are equal. Uh, triang uh, angle D, D, A, C, and uh, D, A, C is equal to D, D, C, A. The reason is very simple, you know. What type of triangle is ADC? Isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle. That's why angle DAC and DCA are equal. <coughs> okay, next one. Is the oh. angle DAB bisected by the line AC? Yes. Yes, okay. Okay, all of you listening, please, in case you are giving this again, all of you know that a rhombus has all sides equal, opposite sides are parallel. Okay, so if you, <coughs> if I were to draw that and indicate that on a diagram, these two are parallel, so as these two, they are all equal. I haven't drawn it very well on the board, but that's what it should look like. Now, you've got one thing that, um, I don't know whether we mentioned it when we were looking at the properties. The diagonals actually bisect the angles of a rhombus. It's not true for a, uh, for a parallelogram. You see, because these two are equal, if they are equal, then these two angles are equal. And these two are exactly the same. These two triangles are exactly the same, which means that these angles are also equal. They are the two congruent angles are the same, so therefore these two triangles are exactly the same. Um, this diagonal also bisects these two angles, which means this will be equal to this, and they will be the same as these two. What did we say the diagonals, what happens to the diagonals where, sorry, the angle where the diagonals bisect each other? What is it equal to? No. 90 degrees, and when they bisect each other, that means this length, I have to change, this length is equal to this, and this is equal to this. The diagonals in a rhombus are not equal, but they bisect each other at right angles. Okay, if I can just label this according to the way it is in the question, A, B, C, D. One thing also that I may not have mentioned is that when you label a diagram using the letters in the alphabet, you always go from right clockwise. You never go the other way around. So A, B, C, D, you cannot go A, B, C, D. You always, usually you go clockwise unless the diagram is already done for you. Right, that's important. Okay, now if you look at this diagram, the questions are, are triangles A, B, E, and D, E, C equal? A, sorry, E is supposed to be here. A, B, E, and D, E, C. 
If you look at the lengths, this length is the same. EC is exactly the same as EA. And EB is the same as DE. Look at the way I've labeled it, which means, uh, and this one is a right angle. This angle is equal to that. This angle is equal to the other one. So the triangles are congruent triangles. OK, is angle DAC is equal to DCA? We've seen that because this side is equal to this side. DC is equal to DA. The triangle is an isosceles triangle. Therefore, angle Y and, sorry, angle ACD or DCA and DAC are exactly the same. And is the angle DAB bisected by the line AC? Yes. OK, next question, please. Question eight. to explain how. You can show it on that diagram. <laughs> That's easy. PR is a diagonal in a, in a square. Yeah, in a square, PR is the diagonal. What's the diagonal? Yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah, but what's this one? 45. Like a rhombus, the diagonals in a square bisect the angles as well. So because it's 90, that's 45 and 45. OK, that's 90. Now, you are to prove that this is equal to that. Now, there's something else you've missed. Where is it? Such that PT is equal to QP. PT there is equal to that. So indicate it. Okay, PT is equal to QT, and, and it says the line through T, it's, that it's a different line. Okay, the line through T perpendicular to PR cuts QR at X. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, the X is there. Okay, PT. PT. PT is equal to Q. Yeah. PQ. Okay. Then you are. T is the point of the diagonal such that, such that PT is equal to. Okay. The line, there should be another line now. T, you, you're supposed to just draw T. T is such that. PT is equal to PQ. Okay. No, there's not another line. I'm tricking. It's okay. So you are told that look, X is such that this is perpendicular to that, so that's X. Okay, but you are asked to find. Uh, yeah, this is also a right angle because that's where it's a angle of a square. Okay, if these two are equal, what you can, if you want to, you can draw a line like that, because you are told to prove that. Question eight, you are told A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral. A, B, C, D is a quad quadrilateral. Angle A is 86 degrees. Angle C is 110 degrees. And angle D is 40 degrees. You are told that angle A, B, C is bisected to cut the side AD at E. Okay, that's E. Now, if angle B is bisected, then this is X and this is also X. <coughs> so 2X plus 110 plus 40 plus 86 will be equal to 
360 degrees. Um, angle B itself is 124. You are asked to find angle A, E, B. If 2x is 124 degrees, then x is equal to uh, 62 degrees. Okay, 62 plus 86 plus this angle will give us 180 degrees as indicated on the board. So angle A, E, B is 90 degrees. Sorry, 32 degrees. All right, next one, question nine. Okay, if this is forty five, like I told this one here, this is ninety, and this is ninety. And if these two are the same, then this is the same as this. Therefore, it's an isosceles triangle. Qx and Tx are equal. Okay. No, not yet. Uh, could be, but you know, don't assume that unless you're proven. Okay, if this is 90, that is the diagonal. Therefore, this is 45. If that's 45 and that's 90, this is 45. And, and um, if that's 45 and 45, then this means that this is also equal to this. That's the only ask to prove. So you calculate the angles to show if you Somebody's rubber is under the table. What? A E is equal to X. You have to show that A is prove that A E is equal to FC. This is because the line here is a A F A A F is equal to E C. How do you know that? Are you told? Check the check the angle. Okay. If these two you have to prove that using angles as well. Okay. If these two lines are parallel, uh, here, then this angle is the same as this one. Okay, if um, yeah, that, uh, that, and yeah, they're alternate angles. Okay, um, if that's the case, when you subtract from 180, you get this one, and the same one will appear here. And because this is a, you're told that this is a parallelogram, the diagonals don't bisect each other. They don't bisect the angles. Okay, so you cannot say this one, this one, it's, it's the par parallelogram. That means this is parallel to this. Because that's what you are told. And this, yes, indicated because. Okay, now, if that's the case, this is angle X, this angle Y. Um, because you, uh, the angles of. Question, question 9, which in the quadrilateral A, B, C, D, angle D, B equals 60 degrees, and the other three angles are equal. The line C is drawn parallel to B, A to meet A, D at E. Calculate the angles A, B, C, and E, C, D. Because the other three angles are equal, we have to put it in an equation. <laughs> 360 degrees, the total sum of the angle in the quadrilateral equals 
60 plus 3 and 300 equals 3 so divide 3 on both sides each angle is equals to 100 degrees and therefore the angle ABC is equals to 100 degrees um, to get the angle ECD we have to subtract angle ACD Sorry, C D subtract angle C D and angle D A B because it is corresponding to angle D C which is equal. So the total sum of the both angles are 160. So if we subtract 160 from 100. Did you all get it? OK, he also forgot to indicate that these two lines are supposed to be parallel. I think that's what you are told. CE is parallel to A or BA. Okay, this is 120 degrees because this angle and this angle are co-interior angles. If these two lines are parallel, and even if that line is not parallel to this line, if these two are parallel, that's a transversal that cuts these two parallel lines, which means these two angles are congruent triangles. Sorry, equal. Sorry, they are co-interior. Co-interior angles okay and that would be he, he correctly said that these two angles are corresponding angles because these two lines are parallel so um, this one what is it one hundred degrees okay this one is twenty degrees okay well done Peter very good. Okay, number 10. Come do number 10 on that side. Question 10 reads, PQRS is a square, T is a point on the diagonal PR such that PT is equals to PQ. The line through T perpendicular to PR cuts to QR at X. Prove that QX is equals to XT and is also equals to TR. In a, the square is uh, a right angle, so it cuts through there, so this means this 
this is 45 and this is also 45. And since that we are told that this both are equal, both of these are equal, 45 minus 180 and divided by 2 is 67.5. And since it's 67.5, this is 67.5, and it is also a right angle over there. You, su you subtract it from 90, 90 degrees and you get 22.5 over here, mm -hmm. which is also equals to this, 22.5 on this side. Since both angles are equal, it is an isosceles triangle, which is this both sides equal which was QX is equals to TX. Yep. This one is same over here because it bisects through there, this is 45 degrees. And because it's a perpendicular line, this is 90 degrees. 90 plus 45 subtracted from 180, this gives us 45 degrees, which means that for 245 degree angle means that these two lines are equal, which gives us an isosceles triangle. That's how to prove that these three lines are equal. Yes. Good. <clears throat> well done, Jake. Anyone else needs me to explain? Or is it clear? Oh, say something. Is it clear? Huh? No? Okay, he, ex he actually explained it very well. Well, PR is a diagonal to of the square. Okay, the diagonals bisect the angles only in a rhombus and a square. In a, in a rectangle, although the diagonals are equal, they don't bisect the angles. Okay, what I mean by the angles are these angles here. In a square and a rhombus, yes, that's true. So if this is a diagonal, that me, and this is 90 degrees, that's 45 degrees. You're already told in the question that T is drawn in such a way that PQ must be equal to PT. So that's what Jake has indicated here. If that's the case and this is 45, then this is 67.5 and this one is also 67.5. PQT and PTQ angles, PQT and PTQ are equal. Now, because this angle is 90 degrees, you subtract 67.5 from 90 to get this little angle here in this triangle TQX here. So that's 28.5. This angle here between TX and TP, you are told that TX is perpendicular to PR. So this angle here is 90 degrees. If it is 90 degrees and this is 67.5, this angle here is also 22.5. So if these two angles are equal, that's only true in an isosceles triangle. So if these two angles are equal, then it means these two lines are also equal. So that's why QX is equal to XT. Now, you then have to prove that Tx is equal to Tr. If this is 90 degrees, again, this is the diagonal Pr. It bisects this angle. This is 45. If this is 45 and this is 90, then this is 45. And again, that means that's an isosceles triangle. Therefore, Tr and Tx are equal. And because Tx is already equal to Qx, therefore, you can then say Qx equals Tx, which is equal to Tr. Okay, I hope it's clear now to those that who are not really clear on this one. Number 11, Rita.
what? Which one is your question? Yeah, 14 is okay. Just go and explain it on there. You have to go and explain it using that diagram. Yeah, she still need to explain, huh? Yeah, you can. It's number 12 and number 13 that needs to be explained. The, the question reads, the diagonal of a rhombus are 12 centimeter and 9 centimeter long. Calculate the, side of the, the length of the sides of the rhombus. This, the longest side of the uh, diagonal is 12 centimeter and the shortest is 9 centimeter. To find the length, I use Pythagoras theorem. As the um, diagonals by set at right angle degree, that means this is equal to this one, and this is equal to that one. So 9 divided by 2 is equal to 4.5, which is the perpendicular height. And 12 divided by 2 is 6 centimeter. So I use this part, 6 centimeter and 4.5 centimeter. C squared minus B squared equals A squared. So 6 squared minus 4.5 squared is equal to A squared. 6 squared is equal to 36 minus... 4.5 squared is 20.25, which is equals to 15.75 centimeter squared. To get A, we found, um, I got the square root of 15.75, which is 3.96. Rounded off to one decimal point, which is four centimeters, so the length of each side is four centimeters. Okay, for this question, um, triangle, what, each of the triangles are exactly the same. The four triangles are congruent triangles. What she's, the mistake she's done is instead of adding, she's subtracted. A is the longest side of the right angle triangle. So it's supposed to be 6 squared plus 4.5 squared, the square root of that. So A is supposed to be C squared plus B squared and it's supposed to be 7.5. OK. Question 12, you'll have to do that, that for homework because we are running out of time. Question 12, those people who I said will answer those questions will still answer them the next lesson. So question 12, question 13, question 14, and 15, you have another day to go over the questions again and I expect you to do better, much, much better than those who explained today. You'll have to go to your next um, lesson. Okay, the keyword to the pilot teacher is polygons. Good afternoon class. Thank you.